everybody welcome to another average angler video i'm starting a series of jargon busting um videos because i've realized that there's lots of people within the match fishing within with, that are watching my videos that are not necessarily match fishermen are not necessarily that clued up on fishing in general or they're just pleasure anglers trying to you know learn a little bit pick up a bit or just enjoy watching me anyway i'm trying to you know make some videos that are aimed more at everybody so bear with me if you already know about these things you can always move on to another video guys so what am i going to be what are we going to be what jargon are we going to bust today we're going to be jar busting this jargon floats now floats have sizes and the size of a float is based is, is basically what weight it takes to make that float sit properly in the water okay without going into too much detail for people for people that have never seen a float before we're going to, that's that is really 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 beginner so a float sits in the water and a certain amount of weight will make it sit so it's just nice, ready for the bite. That number there, 4x14, is a guide to the weight that's needed for this float. But it doesn't mean anything to anybody. What does 4 40, times 14 mean? Well, it means 4 number 14 styles weights. Now, what are they? I'm about to put some on the screen to show you what styles weights are. Now, you'll be able to see, this is a... An image of uh, some styles weights made by a company called Anchor, and it just shows you what a styles weight looks like. It's it's a it's a long thin cylinder with a groove in it, and it clips onto your line. And you generally need a tool to apply these styles pliers. They're a pain to move around. Um, they do damage your line a lot. They're in the traditional old style of weight, which is almost. 90% of anglers just don't use them anymore. I've never used them in the 20 odd years that I've been fishing. And so you're probably never going to use them either. But you can see on there that there is weights next to those numbers. So on those, on if you look on the screen there, you've got, on this particular one, you've got size 20, 19, 18, 16, 14, and 11. And the number 14 is point, says on it 0.1 of a gram. So that means that our four by 14 float is four times 0.1 of a gram, which basic mass is 4.4 grams. Okay, so that's that's what it that's what this takes. That's the jargon busted. You now know what that means. Obviously, you've got to try and memorise it because the next slide you look at might be a four be twelves, and you're thinking, well, what's a twelve? And the next float might be a four be eight, and you're thinking, what's an eight? Or a six be eight, or six be fourteens. But you know. You can get charts and you can work it out. And after you've tried a few floats, you get to, used to it. It's a traditional throwback from time gone by when stocks were much more, uh, style, sorry, were much more popular. I now use, generally use uh, these sort of floats. And I like to, I like things like this. It says 0.6 G, 0.6 grams, that means. So that's much more straightforward. You know what, you know what sort of size float you're dealing with. So there we are, that's that piece of um, jargon busted. But while we're here, we'll have a little talk about weights that you put on your line. Just, just as a little extra bit of footage, because you know this is a very short video else. What I'm going to show you now is a shot. Sure, if you've done any amount of fishing, you've used these. But in pole fishing, we generally don't put anything bigger than a size 8 shot on our line. And there's a reason for this. Shot, size shape, size eight, sorry, size eight shots are 0 0.06 grams. And that is the heaviest size of lead that you can add to a line in the United Kingdom. You can't go fishing with anything heavier than that unless it's an ounce or something. There's, it's got, there's like a gap in the middle and then you can start getting lead again. And it's to prevent the, to protect the wildlife and the toxicity in the water because lead's toxic. So in the UK, we have a ban on anything over size 8. So we just generally use size 8 because obviously lead has got the right combination. Here's another one here. Lead has got the right combination of density and um, softness so it doesn't damage our line. I think these were called shots originally because they came from gunshot. A gunshot from out of you know shotgun cartridges, and you can see it's just a uh, it's, it's cylinder. I was going to say it's not a cylinder; it's a sphere with, or roughly a sphere with a slot cut out of it. Okay, 
So generally speaking, in pole fishing, we have size 8, size 9, size 10, size 11, size 12, and occasionally size 13. Really easy to, if you remember that then, what you've got to remember is that a size 8 is the biggest, and as the numbers get bigger, the weight gets smaller. Now these are, as I've said, that's the tradition. That was for me was traditional. I'm not sure if style was traditional and these took over many years ago. Some of the top anglers still use these, but most anglers now is what it's moved on to. Um, let me get, no, sorry, I'm sorry, I was getting a tiny one out there. Let me get a bit, a bit of a bigger one out so you can actually see on the, on the camera there. Most anglers now moved on to these, which kind of like a hybrid between a shot and a style. And they're called, they're commonly referred to as Stotts. Stotts is a brand name for Preston, because I thought Preston were the first people to bring these to the market and they were very, very popular. They're again, pure lead, but look at the nice deep groove, which is great for modern heavy lines that we use when we're fishing for carp. You know, if we're fishing for double figure carp, you can't be messing about with silly little lines. Shots do struggle with those heavier lines. So the stops became very, very popular because really easy to put on. Uh, and also they've moved better, which is actually a positive and a negative. Um, if you, you know, if you're fishing a strong out shirt pattern style of shotting, the, um, these can be a pain because keep moving. But they do move up and down the line and don't do any damage. And they do go on very easy. And I, I use these almost exclusively, I would say. Some top anglers would, ref, would you know, advise you to use shot. In some circumstances, but I'll just find, I use these and if I have to keep moving them, I have to keep moving them, I don't really care. That's just my personal preference. Okay, so that's it. That, and uh, these, these, sorry, I just meant, meant to mention that the start, this this style, which was commonly referred to as the start, the weights are the same. So a number eight start is the same as a number eight shot. So that's it, that's all you need to know for shot in a float, really. I hope that I've helped somebody out there. I mean, um, it did take me a while to cut on to what that was all about when I first started getting onto the pole fishing. I'd been fishing all my life you know my dad taught me to fish and he's a waggler fisherman and a, and, a, and a feeder fisherman he's never picked a pole up and probably never will and so i had to work it all out for myself and uh, and i had friends and things that helped me out so that's what these videos are all about and this is the first one in the series is there anything else you want me to talk about send me a message if there's any sort of aspects of sort of pole fishing match fish match fishing or course fishing that are confusing you, I'll try and do a video about it. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you on the next one.